One to follow there for sure. Well, now to Tokyo, where there's great news to report for Olmsted Falls native Katie Najat. Yeah, that smile is a gold medal smile because Katie is bringing home a gold medal. This after winning the top honors in the women's pole vault finals this morning. Will Uick was up early this morning to check out a watch party in the city where friends, family, and the entire community rallied around Katie to watch her fly live. It's not every day that someone is on a ladder changing a sign. I had it up all week, and they were afraid too many people were coming. And opening a bar at 5.30 a.m. on a Thursday. But it's also not every day someone you know is competing for a gold medal. Until, until this morning, I was actually pretty relaxed, surprisingly. I am so anxious right now. I didn't get any sleep last night. She loved it from the start, and she was really good right off the bat, but I mean, you never believe something like this can happen. Oh, gosh. Katie Najat started pole vaulting in the seventh grade. Little did Katie's mom know then that all those trips with those giant poles would lead to this. An early morning emotional roller coaster ride. This place is buzzing, and in the very first miss at 4.50, suddenly it's like, oh, hang on. Like, this is the Olympics, and everything's on the line. I mean, there were points where you could hear a pin drop. It was just, I don't know. There were a lot of highs and lows. Where practically the entire town was gathered one place. Yeah! Or another. Yeah! Dying with each miss. Yeah! And erupting yeah! with each clear. Thought I was going to throw up. <laughs> I was so nervous. Until finally, with a gold medal on the line. <laughs> euphoria. I can't even put it in words. I don't even know what I'm thinking. It's just, it's just a dream come true. I'm just so happy for her. That was absolutely surreal. I always knew she could do it, but to have her actually do it is just, ugh, so good. She's better than everyone. But my God, she tested us patience. <laughs> So if people call off work in Olmsted Falls today, don't blame them. Because it's not every day someone you know wins a gold medal. Katie's family tells me that they're already planning a meet and greet day out in Olmsted. Early date for that. They're right now looking at the 13th, but they'll have more information as we get closer, guys. Just oh. so awesome. I get chilled. I yeah. get kind of choked up seeing the, all those family members get so excited. I, mean, I was up at 2.30 a.m. <laughs> and I'm still riding high because yeah. of that party right there. I think the coolest thing was how she sort of channeled her inner LeBron James with the Cleveland, this one's for you. Yeah. I mean, that's a goosebump moment. Also, I want to say, I want to compliment you. A tremendous job with that piece. People at home may be wondering, why don't we see Katie's jump? Yeah. NBC has the rights to that video, right. and even though we are an NBC affiliate, that is embargoed for all media outlets until after the event airs, which it airs tonight in prime time, so you can see the whole competition unfold tonight right here on Channel 3. But it's That's, tough to tell a story without the main ingredient, but yeah. I think you did a marvelous job. Thank Will. you. That is the one oh good my. news, though. If, if you didn't get up early and you want to see Katie and, and watch this, because this was a roller coaster, she didn't make every jump that she made. It, right. it had everybody on <laughs> pins and needles. They're going to re-air it, so that'll be uh, something to watch, and you can kind of follow along with you know the ending this time. Can't wait yeah. to see it, certainly. Well, thanks a lot, yep. Will. And